Good morning, Sunday friends. We're the show six. I'm Melissa. I'm Catherine. And wait, wait, wait. who are you? I'm um, I'm your sister. You're not Libby. How can I know what you are? You're just saying it. Oh! Has that ever happened to you guys? Have you ever seen someone and not recognized who they were until they did something to remind you? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about in our lesson today. So today we're going to be learning about the days after Jesus' death. So three days after Jesus died, a man named Cleopas and his friend were walking to a place called Emmaus when a stranger came up to them. A stranger is someone that you don't know or recognize. But the thing is, this man was someone they knew, someone very special. Okay, so Catherine, would you begin reading the story? So this is the road to Emmaus. It comes from Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. The road to Emmaus. Three days after Jesus died, Cleopas and his friends and his friend were slowly walking down the road to Emmaus. They were walking slowly because they felt very sad. Why did Jesus have to die, they wondered. After a while, a stranger began to walk along with them. The stranger was really Jesus, but Cleopas and his friends didn't know it. So they were really upset because of everything that they had witnessed with Jesus' death. And can you imagine Jesus came up to them and they had no idea that it was him? What are you talking about, the stranger asked. The men looked at each other. Are you the only person in town who doesn't know what just happened? They asked. They asked. What told the stranger? They told the, the mm -hmm. they told the stranger what had happened to Jesus. Jesus was a great teacher. Cleopas said, "We had hoped he was the one God promised would save the world, but instead he died on a cross. We took Jesus' body down and put it in a tomb. This morning our friends went to the tomb, but Jesus' body was gone. They said there was an angel there instead." The angel told our friends Jesus is alive, but... Stop being silly, the stranger said. How many times do you need to hear this? It was God's plan for Jesus to die and become alive again to save the world. By now, they were almost to Emmaus. Cleopas invited the stranger to stay for dinner. But see, they still didn't realize that it was Jesus. So during the dinner, the stranger picked up a loaf of bread, broke it, blessed it, and gave each man a piece. All of a sudden, Cleopas and his friend recognized the stranger. It was Jesus! But then Jesus disappeared. Cleopas and his friend jumped up, ran from the room, and went to tell the rest of Jesus' disciples that Jesus really was alive. God kept another promise. So, you know, it took them a while to realize who it was, but once they did, they were so excited. So if you saw Jesus walking down the road, we want you to think about what would you tell? Who would you tell? Excuse me. What would you say? What would you say, Catherine? Well, if I was walking down the road with my friend and Jesus just came and um, was walking with us, I was like, I'm, and then I w we would probably go and run and tell all of the people we know. Yeah, it's really exciting. So this is a very important story for all of us. Um, so we're going to show you a craft now that you can make to help you remember this special story. We've made a pop-out card, um, and it has Jesus in it. <laughs> Fix that. We made a pop-out card, and you can too. You can also watch the Deep Blue video to learn more. So this is a, a card that you can make. It's a... Um, that you can use to remember what happened. So in today's Bible story, the men were walking on the road and they did not know Jesus was walking with them. Yeah, they realized it was him by his actions. That's right, sometimes actions are more important than our words. So we ask you to really think about this um, and why this is and what, what actions has um, Jesus taught us to do to show our love. Jesus teaches us so much. Yes, we can remember Jesus when we are kind and loving to each other. And it's so important for us to remember this, especially um, now that things are different and you know sometimes things can be really tough. So we need to keep this in mind as we move through this week. Being kind and loving to others is what Jesus wants us to do. 
Okay, so we're going to end today with our affirmation of faith. And this is a reminder of who we are um, called to be as Christians. So Catherine's going to recite the affirmation, and we encourage you to repeat each phrase after her. I believe in God who loves me and wants me to love others. I believe in God who loves me and wants me to love others. God is the creator of all things. God is the creator of all things. I believe in Jesus who shows me God's love. I believe in Jesus who shows me God's love. He hoped for a world where everyone could live in peace. He hoped for a world where everyone could live in peace. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in the Holy Spirit. A spirit that we cannot see but feel. A spirit that we cannot see but feel. The Holy Spirit helps me know God is everywhere. The Holy Spirit helps me know God is everywhere. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit teach me. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit teach me. That I can be the church. That I can be the church. Reminding everyone of God's power and grace. Reminding everyone of God's power and grace. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, um, we hope that you have a wonderful week. We miss all of you, and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.